Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We are playing as the Maharaja of Gujarat, uh, planning to expand basically everywhere. And uh, there's a host that's uh, attacking us. We've got some uh, mercenaries, we've got some allies as well, all coming over to help. So let's go ahead and uh, get back on it. See if we can uh, take care of this before they get too much further. They did not do anything there. They have uh, done some damage to the prosperity and the uh, loot and everything like that, unfortunately. But uh, get the heck out of here. So I do have this county that I need to do something about. Um... And I suppose I could give it to a Sokka. Uh, any other Sokkas popped up? Ones who are not uh, um, Brahmin, at least. Unfortunately, no. It does not look like it. It's a lot of women, but that's not helping much. Uh, we got a 12 here. He does not have... I guess I don't... I don't think I can give him... Um, yeah, Grant Landed Title, I can't give him anything. That is unfortunate. You are 22. You are strong. Arrange marriage. Um, I don't know how this will work out with uh, someone who is not a doesn't have anything, but we could try marrying a Kshatriya. Might as well. Matrilineal would. Probably be better, but let's just go with that. We'll see what happens. I'd like to get the strong. All right, well, uh, let's see. There were a couple. They just didn't have very high stats. Even when your um, tolerance is super high, I don't think you can give out titles to women, which kind of blows, <laughs> honestly. Okay, yep, it's got to be you. Grant landed title of Sonda. There we go. Does have a cough. We'll see if we can get something with that. Um, I cannot check uh, the war there. But let's go ahead and siege back our holding. Uh, as reigning Maharaja, I rarely have any spare time. But for my little son, Punakula, I would move heaven and earth. Family first. This war is indecisive, you say. Well, I'm just going to have to wait here for him to come back. Uh, let's go ahead and get my fort back, though. I have no idea where he ended up going. 
Uh, let's see. Emir Nizam the Weak is of the Tade. Okay, so be it. Um, he was under the Abbasids. Banu Judum. What? Conquered as a claimant. Oh. Oh, that's Hassan of Hassan's host. These guys are now under the Western Protectorate. I'm less scared of the Western Protectorate than I am of uh, these guys, for example. <laughs> uh, it appears that they ended one of their uh, rebellions, but they have another one now. But, uh, what exactly happened to the Abbasids themselves? You are now under the Muhalabids? That's just crazy. And you actually kept the uh, the Sunni Caliphate, too. Um, but in terms of your own personal troops, uh, you got nothing. Although you do have a bunch of events spawned, so that that's part of it. That'll go down to 20k. Although, the from Vassal's 25,000. Ugh, yuck. Part of it is this guy with 20,000 of his own. To a certain extent, I do not know why he doesn't, like, revolt... He could be free. <laughs> I mean, look, he, he, he's almost as big as uh, the Abbasids are themselves. Why are you not rebelling or something, for crying out loud? Oh, man. Uh, maybe we'll be lucky and there'll be a decadence revolt or something. I don't know. Just need to see the Abbasids implode. No major modifiers affecting this province. It doesn't even have the prospering anymore. Ugh. Visiting the monastery at which my order has convened this time, I join my fellow members in dutifully performing all tasks required of us. In the evening, after the day's hard work, the abbot gathers all of the visiting lay members and reveals the monastery's great treasure, a great relic that has been safeguarded here for many generations. That's nice, I guess. Uh, let us celebrate his glory. I'm paying. It should be mine. Start planning the theft of the jeweled danda. Okay. I deserve good things. And I will work to get them. I've gained the ambitious trait. Yes. Yes. Jeweled danda is pretty good. I think this guy had one. No. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. There is a Bati Holy War for Moltan. It's that guy. 1k, a 2.6. Is uh, anyone helping you? Khalif Hassan is helping him now, so I think we are good there. But, uh,. Having decided that the relic would be a much better safeguarded in my own hands, I must now tackle the task of how to liberate it. Uh, 900 gold. Grab it and run. Uh, you, you know, I, I think I can get rid of these guys now. Get rid of those guys as well. Hey, Abbot! A discovery. While digging the ground during the building of Scholar's Haven, the workers came across some kind of door for what seems to be a closed chamber. I do not want to be bothered again with such petty details. Uh, just ignore it and continue the work. Let us spend some time in gold to investigate. 60 gold. It is probably an ancient tomb. Explore it with caution. 
Because I have either a high learning or the traits erudite or architect. Well, I'm already in debt. A discovery. The workers found a number of small connected underground chambers under the Scholar's Haven construction site with old burial remains and a fair amount of silver and gold objects. Let's give the workers a share of the gold. Or, uh, it's all mine! Um... Give the workers a share of the gold. Yep, that has paused. That's expected. You're locked. Let's go fight you. Um... Yeah, I got rid of my, uh, mercenaries. That should start ticking down, too. Hi! My plan went flawlessly. Not a single soul saw or heard me during the night, and it was not ere, a day, not ere daybreak that the theft was discovered. Nobody suspects it was I. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's good. That is nice. Jeweled Danda. This is a scepter. Quality 3, national tax modifier plus 10%, monthly prestige 0.5, and diplomacy plus 1. The Danda is the scepter by which Krishna steers his herd of cows. It is the handle of the Chhatri, or royal umbrella, and it is the foremost symbol of kingship. This particular Danda is unusually ancient and elaborate. Uh, and yet it was created in 850. Like, I kind of feel like it should probably have the uh, created unknown date. Just, just saying. Just a suggestion. Okay, uh, Bimmy was captured. Perfect. Offer peace, enforce demands, get in my prison. So, why is this not guy not in my, uh, like, he, he should be in my care. Get out of here. I don't, I don't want you. That's what you get. So he has the Silk Shroud that I want, and he has my book that I want. Let's see, I could uh, ransom him for 10 gold. That's not worth it. I want my book back. I want my book. I mean, it is, I'm losing the fertility minus 20%, but I'm also lo losing learning plus 2, which is really good. I mean, my learning's pretty high right now, but still, I want that. Uh, let's see, steady progress on the artifact. Pirates have been marauding in increasing numbers all along the coasts of Gujarat lately. Worse, there is a rumor among the common folk that the pirates are being aided by Pallava agents. I will send a letter. Dadia Padra is prospering. Gained prospering. Uh, do not approve, blah, blah, blah. I will try to soothe it. I don't mind losing that little bit of prestige. A well-dressed merchant has requested an audience. The man presents himself as Master Ephraim Ebheri, a representative of the Jewish Radonite merchants, and implores, We are seeking to set up an office in Navas Rica, but lack the funds. If you would uh, sponsor us, we would be eternally grateful. <laughs> well, I don't really have the funds either. Um... New gold to spare. I shall sponsor you. City tax plus 5%. Trade value plus 5. Uh, that is 50 years, though. For 155. Or... Get city tax and trade value. For 100 years. 
That's probably worthwhile, though. Well. Back to being in debt. <laughs> master of the Hunt. Uh, you can be Master of the Hunt. Court Musician. Master of the Royal Elephants. Royal Builder. Let's see. Uh, I don't know why I can't make a uh, guru, but I also need a new uh, commander. Don't really have many great options. My nephew has a 12. So he would probably gain a skill at some point. Lots of weak claims that I can press. No claims that are my um, my family. I could actually claim the Empire of uh, Tibet with someone. That's fine. Uh, how is my my plot going? Hmm, not so well. There aren't many people who. There is no one who would join me. My words of apology do not ring true, huh? Well, I mean, at least I used you once, so <laughs> that's it's kind of okay. Gain some prestige. See if I can get some uh, get this money back. There's some tech points. Uh, it takes a special interest in eunuchs, but frowns on Muslims. Well, let's see if we can send him a eunuch. Sure, why not? Get out of here. I can send a concubine. I... Yeah, you would not actually take her. Because of the uh, the great pox. All right. Eh, nothing else. All right. I aim to please. <sighs> My courtier has died a natural death. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, continue working on that. Okay, so my troops are, uh... Are gone. I could, uh... I could Holy War. Unfortunately, um... Now my, uh... My troops are low. I mean, I got enough, but... I kind of need to... I think I kind of need to let them recover a bit. I can't believe he's pulling that back. I mean, how is the Caliph not helping him out enough? 12% there. Yeah, I think I, I need him to win this, but I'm worried that he won't. He's probably there sieging, at least. I mean, he's got more troops. He should not have this problem. 
Uh, I wish we could see what the uh, the war score was. I'm also worried that he'll call in uh, the Caliph. Not that the Caliph seems to be doing a whole lot. He put down that one revolt and has another one again. You're doing, dealing with a monophysite uprising, but that's probably, like, down here somewhere. Uh, let's see. 4.43. On the other hand, I could prevent him from getting too much more war score. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, if I don't get all of it, I don't get all of it. But I might... I should at least get something. Call you in. Thank you. I suppose I could actually look through my pacts. I didn't do that before. Um, so that's him. That is him. Alliance. Form an alliance. And no one else. Okay. Come on in. on in. Thank you. Thank you. More tech points. How am I doing on that? Uh, no culture advances that I can invest in. Uh, everything is still spreading into economy. No longer getting anything good... Uh, no longer getting any spread in military organization. So I could bump that up. Morale of armies, land organization. Still don't really know what land organization means. But I'm not at a point where I'm going to be getting retinues, because I think I'm going to wait until I'm back to Sokka. Stuart is making steady progress. Alright, let's get up there. That is a Sunni uprising. I'll have to keep that in mind. That could be a fun, quick war. So you're there. I'm going to ignore you. My lord, it seems that Maharaja Nantivarman uh, Karnata has finally decided to come out of hiding. Now would be a good time to strike. Wood, how are... Hey, would you like some money? Get into my plot. I don't know where this guy's troops are. He's up in Sibi. Okay. I don't know why he's not going up there to attack. Especially considering he doesn't have any troops. There we go. Thank you.
don't know where you're th planning to go, but... Oh, you fool. You idiots, don't... Don't siege that down. That's not an ally. Yes, go there. No, stay stay there. I wish you could tell them to... Oh, we can. That's new. Uh, not you. Yeah, go, go siege over there. They're moving. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. The Caliph is not in my war yet. I worry that he might. He just hired some people. Oh, no, no, that's the Caliph. Okay. Family first. Fate smiles upon me. My concubine is pregnant. Excellent. So as long as we can maintain our uh, our lead and prevent uh, these guys from getting anything, which I think is going to happen, uh, let's get up here. Because this has been just completely demolished. Let's boop in there. You're locked. I'd rather not get into combat there. Because if I don't have my allies in, I'd rather not do it. Uh, do I have any interest in learning about roses? I have green fingers. I simply must have some. He's probably going to go over to one of these two, though. Uh, seclude yourself. Sure, I can do that. I like how easy this one is. Too little eating has turned me into a shell of my former self. Well, that's annoying. Don't want to be malnourished. Oh well. Alright, I got uh, Rose Garden, monthly prestige. There we go. What are we looking at? That's... I think this, this one is too good to pass up. Let's get in there. Why is this guy showing, like... Emir. Oh, no, that's probably the people leading the armies. Yeah. Yeah, those are the uh, the people leading the armies. I always forget about that. Okay, Betrothed can marry. That's good. i uh, figure it out on my own, or no shame in asking for help. The wisdom of Vishnu is infinite and indisputable. All right, I think we'll call this an episode, and we'll come back next time if we can get these two and just kind of maintain hold. Uh, then I think we'll get it. If we can get these two, then we, we should start getting the ticking war score, I think. I don't think we need to occupy literally everything, but we might. I do not recall. Anyway, that will all be next time.
See you then, everyone.